So today we are reclaiming the refrigerant out of these three VRVs. Um, this site is a school library and they're doing a rejig. Um, so they've got to remove a couple of the under ceiling cassettes and high walls and they're putting up some walls. We've got to basically move all of those. So yeah, we'll run through the process on, on that. Look at all the stuff you got to bring out of the car when you do jobs like this, eh? <laughs> it's just unbelievable. And I've got another 20 kilo pump down bottle as well, just in case. I have a feeling we're probably going to need it. So we've got our pump down bottles on back at the moment and just pulling the covers off to see um, which, uh, how much uh, additional charge they've added. So basically we've got 21.8 additional. Um, and so this one here holds like 11.8 and the rest other two are 2.9. So we're definitely going to need that third bottle. So after using the calculator on my phone, worked out that we've got 54, roughly 54 kilos of gas between us. So we're definitely gonna need that third and potentially even a fourth. But now what we're gonna do is put these VRVs into recovery mode. So we're only through how to do that. So we got our seven segment display here um, and we're gonna go into the, the correct parameters, but pretty much everything you need to know is always, well not always, but for stuff like this on the board here. So. Anyway, um, but to get into this one, we're gonna go to hit BS1, see if the camera will focus there, BS1 for five seconds, and we'll be displaying number two. Yep, so that's displaying number two. I mean, you can't see that because it looks like <laughs> camera doesn't pick it up. Anyway, then I'm gonna hit BS2 21 times because we're going to 2.21. There we go. Now we're gonna hit BS3 to select. We've got zero there, so I want that to go to one. I'm gonna press BS3 again. Now one is solid, which is good. Now I'm gonna hit it again, and it hits TO1, that out of space TO1. So we're now in, um, yeah, refrigerant recovery mode, which is basically just opening up all the valves throughout the entire system, so. So, because we've got quite a bit of gas to recover, we're gonna use the um, Appion core removal tools. You really gotta love how easy that is. <laughs> okay, so we've got our setup ready. Um, actually, I'll just turn the scales on while we're waiting for that. Look at the uh, state of the coil, eh? <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, cool. Those are zeroed out. Um, our scale is zeroed out. So just open those up. We'll just come to here. I'm gonna open this up. So that's open and we're purging. Oh, we're purging from there, that's never a good sign. But I bet the seal's fucking dropped out too. Yeah, it's a constant problem. That's better. All right, let's try this again. That sounds better. No longer leaking, we can purge from here. Beautiful, alrighty, we'll just make sure I'll tear, yes. All right, let's get started. Cool, so, haven't started the recovery unit yet. As you can see, it's kind of just going in there at the moment. Um, we'll start it, actually we'll probably start it now. Um, so I'm going to go to 17.5 for each of the bottles, um, and that should just make it. We'll see how we go. Touch wood. Um, I know pulling through a manifold for something like this isn't ideal, or going through quarter inch hoses, but just with what I've got on me at the time, I, I, that's my only option. Um, it seems like it is coming out pretty quick at the moment, you know, granted we are <laughs> at the very beginning and it's mostly liquid coming out, uh, but we should, yeah, we should you know, taking the valve cores out. I've done all I can with what I got. Um, and hopefully, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get there. So having a bit of fun at the moment, the uh, CPS, probably not surprisingly, uh, is struggling. Um, <laughs> it's basically cutting out on HP, although it doesn't seem to be getting anywhere near up here where it says H uh, high pressure cutoff. So try putting bucket in water. Um, water is still cool tried just pulling from my suction, although, because I've got all the, the ports open, it's probably not making much of a difference anyway. Um, yeah, we'll see how we go. Alrighty, the mighty CPS lives. Um, I've, I'm metering, so 
I started off at basically a quarter and it seems to be holding. I've gone up to half. Again, it seems to be holding. My head pressure isn't jumping up anymore. Um, so hopefully, I basically, I was letting it sit for a while just to see it, like let it cool down. Um, but yeah, at the moment, I'm gonna keep trying to see if I can incrementally uh, open up my inlet to hopefully let, uh, and we'll just monitor my discharge pressure here. But at the moment, looking good. And naturally, the rain's here now. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Trying to do what I can to keep everything. Oh, fuck you. Head <laughs> pressure's creeping up a bit. I might try and meter it back a bit. See if that helps. So water's actually pretty warm now, so I'm going to change that out. So. 11.6 Slow the process, getting there though. Okay, first bottle, 17.23. We'll uh, move on to the next one. Fuck, these hoses are doing my head in, man. Um, it's every time you purge, so you'll, you'll disconnect from the hose, I have to purge the gas in there. And every time I do that, it comes out. Okay, second bottle's on now. Um, look, we are coming down. This weather though. It's a good time. So, head pressure definitely stabilised. Look, honestly, it was probably my fault. Uh, I assumed that it could go higher. Um, I probably should read the manual on this one, to be honest with you. Uh, but yeah, ever since I've chucked the buckets in water, we've been fine. So, doing what we can. <laughs> but this rain is causing havoc, man. Um, keeping the reclaim unit dry with my uh, knee pad. Gauges tucked away behind there, because it's kind of coming on an angle like this. I mean, the water's just helping the water, so that's great. New bottle, seven kilos, change the water. Some days just aren't as fun as others, eh? So, just about to change over to the third bottle now. Um, yeah, we're chugging along. I really need to get one of those uh, portable, like, I don't know, dual GPO things that you can take to site, because yeah, I'm having to reclaim this bottle in here. Sweet, ready to change this one out too. So, third bottle, now has about 8.5 in there. So including the, you know, roughly 17 and a half I took from the other two, that would mean I still, I've got about 44 kilos, I think. Um, honestly, I don't think I'm gonna pull out exactly what they've written down here. Um, we'll see, but it just seems like I'm not gonna have another five and a half, uh, no, sorry, um, like eight and a half kilos in here. So we'll see. So, Finally made it. Um, honestly, I think I might cut it there. I don't want to pull this thing into a vacuum just in case. I have a feeling if that number there is correct, we potentially could have a leak somewhere. Um, I'm gonna weigh this now, but it's, I doubt it's upwards of, of 17, 18 kilos, but we'll wait now. So yeah, 10 and a half. And just to take it out of recovery mode, just hit T, uh, sorry, BS3 and it takes it out. You can hear all the valves clicking. So, so just in the process of putting these back together, um, I've isolated the isolators and the switchboard or the feed from the switchboard. Um, we'll isolate the power to the indoors as well. Um, but apart from that, that's uh, that's pretty much a wrap on this one. The, the mech boys will be good to come in and do what they need to do as of tomorrow.